Hey roadies, this is Bill with Get Down the Road, and this is our Fusion 429 fifth wheel toy hauler. And we're going to take a tour. Here we go. Look straight up underneath in the front there, and you'll see the Trail Air Rotoflex hitch pin that really smooths things out nicely. Those two doors there have the generator and the propane tanks. So let's take a look. So these are fairly standard RV doors up underneath the fifth wheel. And there is your run of the mill Cummins Onan 5500 EVAP RV generator. That looks pretty cool, huh? Anyway, I had it running. It's got like four and a half hours on it already. Ran pretty much everything in the coach, not all at once. I did have two ACs on and the refrigerator running on AC at the same time. That's a plus. Be able to do quite a bit once we get out in the uh, sticks there. There's the propane tanks, and you can see they're pretty standard. I like the new style regulator there that's the same old empty one tank, switch it over to the other one, go fill the empty tank. And that little window there turns red or green when there is gas present or not. Uh, if the gas is coming off of the wrong side, it's red. If it's off the right side, it's green. That's the propane. Alrighty then. So it did come equipped with the LCI Lippert electronic leveling system. It does have a solar charge port, which is basically just two wires into the battery and hook up your own charger. This rig is rated for 19,000 pounds GVWR. We're not going to bring it anywhere near that. So this is the hydraulic bay. This is where all the magic happens for the leveling system. Standard. Got the dual polarity switch there that runs the pump in two directions. And here's the wet bay. This is fairly standard wet bay. Got your winterized port, your city water power fill, and your tank flush for your sewage tanks there. And up in the top of the bay there you see you got the outdoor shower and your TV stuff and your battery kill switch if you look inside transfer switch and on the other side there is a uh, port for television with uh, cable goes up to the antenna and there's a light inside I swapped that out it had an incandescent bulb in it I swapped it out for a uh, LED and moving down the coach we've got your standard 50 amp power service hookup it's hooked up to the house right now your water heater and your non-pressurized tank valve for filling your water tanks underneath there's the exhaust for the generators and up under the side here is the stinky slinky attachment. Moving down the coach, we've got three axles. That's uh, fairly standard on 19,000 pound trailers. 20,000 pound, those are 7,000 pound axles. The two black hatches there vent the gas electric refrigerator. Down this way we've got the fuel station, one for the gen, one for the auxiliary tanks, and the fold-up ladder. Moving back to the tailgate, that does fold down into a patio. Those are feet hanging off the back of it, those will fold down and actually touch the ground and take it from being a 1,500 pound patio to a 3,000 pound patio. 
moving up a bit, we've got the LED lightings under the awning, and that is a power awning, and above the awning are marker lights, and the, the brake light, which being 13 feet high, ought to be quite visible. So this unit does have two entry doors and two awnings. And the nice thing about it, on the front door there, the main door by the side, is that the awning covers that door fairly well. The door does open into the slide, so those stairs won't come up unless the slide's in. It has the more ride step above step system that folds up into the door and puts its feet on the ground. And you can literally jump up and down on that and it is solid. Coming over to the dining room slide, we did get it with a table and chairs. You can get it with a couch in it, but we'll see that when we look at the inside of the unit. It also has speakers on the outside and there is a switch in the, on the inside that lights those speakers up. Down the unit again, coming to the front, there's the output for the furnace below a power outlet. And then you've got the other side of your pass-through storage and your battery compartment. I do want to point out the frameless windows on this unit. They all open. I think the doors are the only place where the frameless windows are not included. I think there's also, uh, I think there's one in the front on the other side that does not open. Otherwise, they all have some way of opening them. They look nice. And as far as I know, they're automotive technology. About like the way the back windows are put on your car. Those are pretty awesome. All right, hey, look at that, the door open. The pass-through storage is fairly large. It was bigger on our Montana. We're uh, rearranging things and finding other space to put stuff and getting rid of some stuff. That false wall there, that is a false wall with the in-command system mounted on it. There's a lot of room back there, and I think that's where I'm going to put my solar batteries. I'm going to have to work that out, though. You see some BII there, basic issue items, hammers, saws, axes, shovels, stuff you need in order to terraform things. There's your battery compartment. That battery compartment is big enough for two GT2s. I got them... Uh, working out with Interstate right now, what's going on with them. Charging my set. i uh, not sure if I'm gonna keep those or toss them. Generally, you like to have all your batteries be of the same date manufacturer, so they're easier to balance. Here we are at the front of the unit. That's the outside of our 2018 Keystone Fusion. It's about five weeks old now. All right, there is a TV antenna, a booster digital TV antenna. And on the other side, it's got the WindGuard Wi-Fi booster. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be using the 4G setup there. I'll break something up so that it gets Wi-Fi from a tethered phone. The uh, WindGuard locks you into an AT&T service. I'm not sure that that's the direction we wanna go in. Anyway, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, give us a thumbs down. Be sure to subscribe. Come back to Get Down the Road. We'll see you later.